Hey guys, so today I'm actually pretty excited. We're gonna talk about a bag that hasn't received a lot of attention, but I think it's one of the more exciting packs out there. And it comes from a company um, that many of you have probably heard of. Um, they're infamous and famous at the same time, uh, Boundary Supply. So today we are talking about the Boundary Supply, what they call now the Errant Sling. Before this bag was known as the Arclight Sling. Um, I prefer the Arclight name better than Errant. I know they have their Errant backpack and all that, and I guess they want to just kind of have the synergy with the branding, but um, I like the name Arclight. Anyways, this is a single strap sling. It is 15 liters, and this version of it, it comes in a Cordura, but it also comes in an X Pack version as well in different colors. Uh, this is the black one. And so let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about the outside, the inside, some of the things I liked, some of the things I, I didn't like, and ultimately what I've decided uh, to do with this bag. So the Art Light Sling. You see right off the front, this is a cool looking bag. It has like this tech punk look to it. You know, it has the Fidlock buckles. It has like this tarpaulin material in the front that's, you know, water resistant. It has a ton of latch points. The zippers are, have this uh, coating on, on top that makes it water resistant as well. It's a sleek looking bag. And one of the things you have to give credit to Boundary Supply is that their materials are always very good. They don't skimp on materials. And this is not a cheap bag. This Cordura version comes out to $180. So yeah, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but you might be able to get a lot of functionality out of it. Um, aside from the Fidlocks, the YKK zips, you do have a bunch of magnets and stuff all over the place. And you, you will see in a second why that, that's um, interesting. It also comes with a bunch of lash points. So you can lash in the bottom, you can lash in the top. It also has here in the back, you have these little side handles, side handle on the side, handle at the top. And then you have like this nice strap. This strap is beefy. I mean, it's not, it's not squishy, but it does have a, a bit of density to it, um, but it's really comfortable. And what I really like about it is that it goes all around the body and I'll put it on right before uh, I start taking everything out so you can see how much stuff I, I packed into this thing. So here, it, just so you can see the back here, this back panel of the sling is crazy comfortable. I really like what they did here. And this is like a lesson for a lot of larger sling bag manufacturers and designers, because after time, a sling, especially something that's 15, 10 liters, it's gonna become very uncomfortable. It's gonna be sitting on your back. It's gonna be on one shoulder. After a while, you're, you're gonna start feeling a little bit of pain. So what they did here is that it has like this ribbed padding. Then they added a mesh on top for better circulation. And then it has like a little air channel. I'm not sure how, how functional this air channel is. I mean, there's some debate as to how uh, valuable these things are, but you can see this is a cool looking back panel that even on a backpack, you would be like, hey man, that's a nice back panel. So yeah, so the back panel plus the strap make this one of the most comfortable slings I've ever owned. And it's needed because this thing can get pretty heavy. And I'm gonna show you what I've packed in here. But before I do, just real quick, just kind of like an overview. So Fidlock buckle, this is a top loader for sure. And then one of the things that I really like about it is that it has this two side accesses that go to the same compartment. So it doesn't matter how you wear this, um, it's ambidextrous. So you can switch the strap from righty or lefty, doesn't matter. And however you sling it across to the front, you're gonna have access to this front section as well, which is killer. I, I don't understand why other bags don't do stuff like this because not everybody's a righty. And you guys know how I felt about the Mission Workshop Spar and how I ended up selling it be for that reason. And so it's really nice to see that this does have it. So on the inside, let's just start taking some stuff out. You know, my little skinth stuff, you know, my new, usual EDC that I, that I showed you guys, Skittles, and that's it, that's about it. But here you have 
these little pocket, this little pocket here, and then you have three pen loops. And then also Boundary Supply has like a clip for their key leash, which you guys know I never use that. But what's nice is that this right here, what, what I just showed you, like this pocket with the three key, with the three pen loops is mirrored on this side as well. So in total, you're going to get two pockets and then six loops and then like extra kind of just like drop it in and forget about it type type space in here. So really nice for just quick access uh, stuff that, that you, you might wanna grab. All right. So at the top also, there is a quick stash pocket, hand sanitizer wipes. And this has like a felt lining. So if you wanna put some sunglasses or something in there, what do I have in here? I have something else in here. Oh, hey. This is a stabilizer strap, which I'll show you in a second. I'm not gonna put it on, but you'll see what what, what it's used for. I, I've never used it. Um, so anyways, that's there. All right, so let's, uh, let's get into the bag. So here, all the way in the back, again, you have like these, this nice YKK Aqua Guard zips. And this, is, this back panel is a laptop compartment. And in here, my Surface Book 2, this is 13.5 inches. So easily, this is going to be able to fit a MacBook 13. So yeah, that's right. Your sling right here, your boy, can put in a 13 inch MacBook. Pretty awesome. So good for like daily carry. And then it has like a little pen loop here and then like a little cable loop as well. So nice, you know, a little padding here. It's, it's, it's good. So this is, this is quite nice. And it sits up against the back uh, and it's protected with this padding and then protected with the other stuff. All right, so let's lock this bad boy open. And it's pretty big. Actually, before I get into the stuff, let me just put it on real quick so you guys can see what this looks like. So, it's real nice here, it really. It, and the strap comes all the way from the back, all the way down the chest. So it distributes the weight well. And then you can see, yeah, this is what it looks like. So one of the first things I wanna mention that I didn't like about it is with a bag like this, I want it to ride high and tight. So I like to cinch these things down. You kind of have this like dangly webbing here and you know, okay, they have like this plastic little piece here that you can like bring it back, but that's it. So even if I push it all the way back and I'm walking, I have like this dangly thing bothering my arm as I walk. So I ended up using a Tom Bim strap keeper to kind of strap this thing down, but it's kind of, I mean, they, they put so much thought into everything else. You would think that they would have figured this out. I don't know. Anyways, and then when, then when you take it off, you, they have the Fidlock buckle that you can just take it off. But again, this kind of goes to what I talked about with the Genghis, that how do you take this off in a way that you don't look ridiculous? So of course you can take it off with the Fidlock and come around. But also the thing is, if you have a bunch of stuff in here and it's heavy, then it could be a little weird. So the other way, of course, is going about it is just taking it off. So there's not, you know, I guess that's inherent to every sling, but just so you know what you're getting into. So Fidlock opens up. Right in here I have my Air Slim Pouch, and then I have a newly acquired bright orange, the Brown Buffalo Dot Kit, which, I'm trying to see if I could put some of my diabetes supplies in here. It might be too big for my diabetes supplies, but man, this is a cool pouch. I gotta do a video about pouches, don't I? I think I should. Um, anyways, that's what I put in here. But you saw like for EDC, I had my, my laptop. I had the big dock kit. I had the slim pouch. I had my little accoutrements, my uh, hand sanitizer, my Skittles, my skin pouch. Man, it, that fit all in the sling and it was, it was very comfortable. But notice here, okay, so you got this big opening here. It's, you could fit quite a lot. And you saw it packed out uh, pretty much on me, but notice what happens when it's not packed out. Mm. 
this thing is nice and small. And how do they do that? With the magnets. So the magnets here, you see these two magnets here? When it's not filled, they close up. Same thing with the magnets up at the top. So when it's not packed out, this thing automatically will shrink down to its, its smallest form. And that's awesome. So what, what a cool bag, so many innovative things. And I forgot to, to mention this when I, when I put the pack on, but anyways, this is a stabilizer strap. I, I don't think this requires too much explanation. Um, I never use it. I guess this is useful maybe if you're somebody who uh, commutes by bike or maybe if you're hiking, that, that could be useful. Um, I never actually wore this. But I guess also at, at the same time, you can use this to some maybe strap some, some things in Maybe which one of the cinching points? I don't know, I, I never did that, but that's something that you can do. Um, some, some notes, okay, so some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like. Um, I love the look of this bag. It is cool looking, I love the materials, I love the fit lock, I love the zippers, I love that it's ambidextrous, I love the back panel, I, I, I love the straps. For all intents and purposes, this is a super high quality sling that's going to last a long time, um, has a lot of utility to it, has cool compartments, can fit a lot of stuff. I mean, presumably you could even, I guess, pack this into a luggage. And then once you get to your destination, you can just pack, take this out of the luggage and just use this to, you know, travel around town uh, if you're if you're traveling. So really, really cool stuff. The things that I, that I didn't like uh, about it, I didn't like this dangly, loopy thing that's here. Um, I didn't like that I could only get to the main compartment just from this top loading section here. And that's, that's minor, really. Um, it's, it's a minor thing. But really, that's, that's about it. Uh, I found this bag to be one of the most underutilized, underhyped bag right now in the carry community. And I'm kind of surprised that not more people talk about it. I get that it is expensive. At $180 for a sling, it is pricey. For that, you can get you know a number of other options. So I understand that. Um, so I guess those are you know kind of the cons uh, to it. So who would use this? If you're a commuter who has kind of a low end or low in terms of uh, weight uh, EDC, this would be good for you. If you have a smaller laptop, you're just kind of taking an iPad to carry around, this would be for you. Uh, you're going on a trip, you know, you don't really carry a lot in your backpack when you take go on a trip, this would be great. Or maybe it's something that you can use, like I said, you put in your luggage, when you get to your destination, you pop it out. What I had an issue with and I ended up selling this one. I'm actually gonna take this to the post office now because uh, I sold it. Is I personally, me, Giovanni, I had a hard time finding ways to use this because my EDC is pretty small. So for the most part, I take my truck uh, crossbody sling. But then if I needed something as big as this, I had a backpack that would be more comfortable, like the Troc Banac, uh, which is about 17 liters. So it's only two more liters than this. It's uh, much more comfortable. Um, even the Genghis, you know, which is more or less like a 17-ish, uh, would have done better. Uh, so I had a hard time finding opportunities to use this bag. Uh, and it, which it's crazy because I didn't contradict myself when I said that it was utilitarian because there's a lot of ways that a person can use this. But for me, I didn't. Maybe as a, if I was still a student, if I had to go to college and I was going to classes, perhaps. Maybe if I had a commute to work, um, maybe this would be something. But for me, the way that I work, the way that I live, I had a hard time finding a way to use this bag. But nevertheless, my experience isn't your experience. You can find this to be the one bag that you need aside from the times where you need to pack out a ton of stuff. Because man, this bag does have some excellent features. It fits a ton of stuff. 
It's just, it's water resistant, you know, it has great access, it's comfortable. Like, so all these things that I talked about. So it could be great for you. Uh, for me, I had a hard time um, really being able to utilize it. And, that, and that's a shame because I really do uh, like this bag. So I ended up selling it. So that's why I wanted to do this review before, before I sold it. But guys, really, if you're looking for something that's on the smaller side of, of capacity, 15 liters or even smaller, let's say that I think when it's cinched down, it's about eight liters. If you're looking for something like that in like this cool aesthetic that can fit a laptop or tablets and but also at the same time put in like a, a raincoat, uh, a tech kit and some other stuff. And then on top of that, your wallet, your keys, um, hand sanitizer, you know, masks, whatever in all a cool package, this is the bag, you know, give it a look. Uh, yeah, Boundary Supply has issues uh, with stocking sometimes. Sometimes they have issues with delivering things on time. But if this bag is in stock on their website, then you can guarantee pretty much that, that you'll get it. Um, so guys, this is again, the Boundary Supply Errant Sling, formerly known as the Arclight. Uh, give it a look and like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free. I'm, I'm very responsive to the comments and I love uh, talking to all of you. So take it easy, guys. See you soon.